Ah, g'day guys, welcome to Food to Eats Barbecue Summer. Hey, we're doing an amazing thing today. Uh, look, I'm working out here in my backyard today. I'm a bit hungry, it's lunchtime. It's time to whip up an amazing barbecue. You might be thinking, well, where's the bloke's barbecue? Bev hasn't got a barbecue, he's gone nuts. Well, in some respects I have, in another respect, I haven't. Let's get rid of the axe. All right, here we go. We'll get rid of the axe, we don't need that. All right, here we go. Yes. Our new awesome recipe called barbecue in a bucket. That's right, barbecue in a bucket. All right, everything we need to make this barbecue is packed away in this beautiful bucket. All right, so in here I've got some amazing tongs and here's our fantastic grill. Now in here, I've got everything you could imagine for a barbecue, which is important. So I've got some veggies in there. I've got some asparagus, which we'll use later on. We've got some honey. We've got some beer. We've got some hand sanitizer. Here's our meat down in here, which is really, really cool. Oh, what else have I got in there? Salt and pepper. And I've got our fire starters. So it's pretty simple, guys. We unpack this, we get our coals going, and we get the barbecue in the bucket underway. So first things first, I've got my little bag here that is called fire starters. All right, in here, I've got matches and I've got a couple of fire lighters but as we want to whack those straight in and we want to put them all a bit of around like that light up our fire lighters let's just put it in let's get our little bucket fire going she's starting to come along now As a safety precaution, I've got my garden tap on just in case that little baby has to go out if it gets out of control. Really, really important. What I want to do now is I just want to break them down a bit. That's going to generate the heat and get the last bit in. It's a really important time now for us to put a little grill on so she gets nice and hot. Ooh. I'm going to use my tongs. All right, now we are about to handle food. We're outdoors. Really important that we sanitize these hands to get them really nice and healthy because we're cooking food for other people. All right, let them dry off. I've got plenty of herbs around this garden of mine, so I've got this fresh rosemary and I want to stick it down in there to get on the coals. What that's going to do is, as it heats up, it's going to generate this beautiful smoke and it's going to crackle and it's going to give an additional flavor to that steak as we put it on. You can see the smoke will start to billow out already. Scotch fillet here. I was actually a little bit intelligent before I came and I've pre-sprayed them. So here we go, straight on. Oh, listen to that crackle straight up. And here's our second one, all ready to go on. Here we go. Lovely. Bunch of asparagus. Here we go. Let's just throw them in next to the meat. Lovely. Yeah, my big beautiful apple tree is literally above the main camera, just above here. I've been getting all these little bits of wood from the trimming uh, in winter. And I wanna just keep throwing that in. The dried apple wood gives another flavor to that meat. But now that's ready to turn over, I suppose we better do it. All right. Oh, look at that. You can see the beautiful rendering down of the fat, which is that slow cooking style on there. Isn't that beautiful? Stunning. Let's flip over our little asparagus there and you can see they're just starting to go wilty and that's all we want. We don't want these little babies to mark. They're actually, with an asparagus, if you slow cook that, the flavour is going to be so much more intense. Our barbecue in a bucket is done. It is amazing. It's nice. It's soft. It's nice and juicy. Right. What I want to do is take that off our little stand. Ready? And we'll sit it down next to us. Let's plate her up. We've got our nice plate in here like that. We've got our tongs. Let's get some nice asparagus. Throw them in the center like that. Let's get a piece of meat. You can see on the side there, she's nice and juicy. Whack her on like that. Bit of a ranch dressing, sort of like a mayonnaise. Let's put a little bit just around the edge. A couple of little dribbles here like that. Some beautiful hot chili sauce. Give it a squirt around. A little bit on the meat. Our beautiful herbs that we picked straight from the garden. Here's a bit of pineapple sage. On here like that. A bit of our lemon balm here. Purple basil, lovely. 
our little carrot tops. Here we go. A little bit over here, a little bit here, a little bit here. There's another bit of sage. It can go underneath there. And look at that. That is the most stunning and beautiful barbecue in the bucket that you're ever going to have. And I'm going to go off now and I'm going to enjoy this. Now, guys, don't forget, if you really enjoyed this video, if you like the recipe, if you like the barbecue in the bucket, don't forget to share this awesome recipe. And don't forget to subscribe down there, just on the corner of your screen there. And don't forget it's free. And you can get your next awesome food to eat video straight into your inbox. All right, guys, catch up with you guys really soon. Mm. Come.